Hey guys, it is That Sweet Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 All-in-One Part 7. So, yes, it has been a pretty hot minute since I have done one of these videos, and I have so many reasons I have just been through the ringer and back with this damn Let's Play, okay? <laughs> As you can see, there's something different, and I'll have to explain myself and just kind of tell you and show you little clips of what has happened. Um, basically, the reason I've been gone for so long is my Sims 3 game was being a poop. Like, literally, it would crash the second I opened it. If you don't follow me on Twitter, you probably don't know this already, but it would crash the second I opened it, and then I, sorry, <laughs> and then I would, um, I, like, uninstalled all my mods, thinking that it was my mods being out of date, and it would crash like within 15 minutes of playing and then I basically removed all my custom content and downloaded the things that I really wanted because I, because I just had a lot of junk that I didn't really use so I did that and it worked it didn't crash I was able to film a part which was great and then I go to edit the part after saving the game which is my bad I know I'm, I'm an idiot um, and my microphone was muted, and I honestly just flipped a table, and I was done. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so basically, I'm going to tell you what happened, like the lowdown, the story, all that. So, I did let Tiffany um, wait out the three days of betrayal, and basically what I did is I did a couple days off camera, like one or two, before I filmed the part where my microphone was muted, and, um, I basically kind of let everything play itself out, I promise I did not do any of this, I let Tiffany and Charles do the interactions that they wanted to do, and it was constant yelling, arguing, fighting, and then Tiffany finally slapped him, and basically what happened is Charles had enough, and he beat her up. So, I mean, I know in real life, if that were to happen, I would have her leave him, or somebody sh should leave somebody if they ever beat you up, but um, I still let her wait out the time, and they continued to argue, and he would try to be flirty with her, and she kind of just, she wouldn't have it, and then just continue to yell at him, and slap him, and argue with him, and, you know, it just got physical, it got ugly, and nasty, and basically the time was over, and she said that she is no longer interested in continuing this relationship, so she broke it off with him, and then we kicked him out, so, yeah, now she is single, and they are almost enemies, pretty much, like, Oh, he's still here? I guess he hasn't left yet. <laughs> um, but we kicked him out for sure. And he took his car, so... We're stuck broke again. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much the lowdown. Um, it looks like Jared has new hair. Oh, I think I uninstalled his hair. Anyways, <laughs> um, Jared is married. And we're gonna have to fix that because... Um... I don't like it. <laughs> Basically, what I'm going to say is that Tiffany is very selfish when it comes to her best friend, which is Jared. Um, their friendship has gone down a little bit since he met this Nina chick, and we need to fix it because she's very selfish. She wants him all to herself, whether it's romantically or whether it's just her being his best friend. She wants to be the only girl in his life in any sort of way. So today she does have work in three hours, and she is still a level, oh, she's a level three. I don't know if she was a level level three before, but, sorry. Oh, okay. He left his car with us. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't really know what I want to do with it. I think maybe if we're going to move out, we will sell it because I don't want to cheat. I think it's kind of cheating, but I guess it was in his inventory, and all his stuff is left in our inventory. So, yeah. She wants to meet somebody new. I'm actually going to have her invite Jared over. Um, 
so that we could talk to him a little bit, like have a shoulder to cry on. She just lost a friend, and I'm pretty sure that was him. <laughs> and so, yeah, we're going to call Jared. He's our best friend, pretty much, and we just really want to talk to him. He's all we want to talk to. And um, I did uninstall Story Progression, if you guys care. <laughs> um, my game is a little bit smoother, um, so that's great. I was thinking of maybe moving Tiffany to another world. I think Setra is wonderful, and I love Setra, but um, it is giant, ginormous, and it is like, I mean, my computer is pretty much like, like it's, it's good. It can handle The Sims 3, it can handle custom content, it can handle all that, but this, this world is ginormous, and I think my computer is having a little bit of trouble with it. And my game is freezing. Oh my god, I just got so scared. Um, I'm serious. Like, if this game just continues to crash, I'm going to give up on The Sims 3 altogether. Like, I literally will. Oh, shoot, she has to go to work. All right, well, I'll go ahead and pick up when she gets off. All right, so Tiffany is about to be off of work, and she did actually earn a raise for her hard work and effort and all that fun stuff. So she's left work, and... I think instead of going home, we're going to go ahead and invite Jared out because I'm pretty sure he's not at his house. So we will just invite him. Let's go to the little Alama club or whatever it's called because it is kind of cold. We don't really want to go to that cool like pool club, even though it's like super, super cool, <laughs> like I said. But um, yeah, this is her new work attire since I un uninstalled a bunch of custom content, which I'll have to fix that because her hair is weird and her outfit is a repair woman's outfit. So, yeah. She's going to go ahead and head over to the Alama, and she wants to hang out with Amar. He's one of our coworkers. I mean, sure. She wants to play a game with Kim Creed. All that fun stuff. Um, she did, oh, that's another thing, is when I played off-camera, um, I had her actually chat with musicians, so she has a great relationship with her band members. So that's awesome. We really do need to work on her guitar, though, because she's fallen behind. <laughs> so I guess now we have a car, because the idiot left his car with us. Is it open? I hope it's open. Right? Is it? Yeah, it's open. <laughs> okay. Um, Is Jared here? It doesn't look like it. Jared? <laughs> Ooh, which one was Jared's car? <laughs> Um, so we're going to come talk to Jared. We're going to ask him about his day. Um, we don't want to be chatted to. He actually looks good with a buzzed head. Like, he looks good with a buzzed head. <laughs> um, we're going to try and convince him to break up with Nina. Not even because I want them to be romantic, but because... Ooh, who's this? <laughs> Um, because she's selfish and doesn't want him to have any other girl in his life besides her. So, I guess this guy, Jeremy DuPont, thinks we're cute. If that's even how you say it. I'm sorry if I offended anybody. Um, but yeah, I uninstalled his hair. I'm pretty sure I have something similar to it, but I think he looks pretty cute with the buzz. What do you guys think? Um, we're gonna be friendly, get to know him. Even though we already know him, though. But, <laughs> we're gonna do all that stuff. Um... We're going to gossip with him and um, speak poorly of Charles because he's such a dirtbag. Um, she wants to go bowling with friends. We could totally do that. I'd have to place like a bowling alley in the town, but I don't think that'll be too hard. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um... Oh my god, he keeps like getting slammed in the head with this damn door. So weird. Okay. Then we're gonna try and be a little romantic with him. I mean, he does have a girlfriend, but I think that's the way we have to actually break them up is by doing it romantically, because I think when they're married, it doesn't work with friendship or whatever. I don't know. That's, I mean, I tried to do it in the, um, in the part that I filmed that was terrible. Um, but... It didn't work when I was trying to be friendly about it. Let's see. I, I don't know if this is working. Um, friendly. 
deep conversation. Um, and, oh, ask to break up with Nina. There it goes. Wow, it's getting pretty loud in here. Even though there's like three people. Why is that so loud? My game volume's like really, really low. But I guess I could turn it down a little more. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's not right. Okay. Maybe that will help. Yeah, that seems a little bit better. Um, I don't know if that was loud for you guys. It was very loud for me. <laughs> um, so we're just going to go ahead and talk to him. And then we're going to ask him to break up with Nina. I don't even know who this Nina chick is. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> He's so cute. Heck yeah! Okay. Let's see. Let's see what it says. You know, you're right. Things are over between me and Nina. Nina might be pretty upset with you, though. Who is she? I want to see her picture. Guys, we have four enemies. This is ridiculous. What does she even look like? Um, so I think we're just going to be friends as of right now. We're going to express our fondness. What is his name? His name is still Tamwell Hamilton or whatever, but his last name is really Hamilton. I'll have to fix that. Um, when I had story progression in my game, I forgot to turn off double barrel names. So that's my fault. <laughs> um, we're going to tell him an inside joke. And make a silly face, and then we are going to tell him a funny story. And then I think we're going to go ahead and grab some drinks, maybe get a little bit juiced, because she, you know, she just went through a pretty ugly breakup, and I'm almost positive she's going to want to say, okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> she's going to want to say, okay, thanks, bye. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll do that, and um, we'll just get crunk. <laughs> totally inappropriate. Um, What else? was I going to say? Oh, I guess, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, I turned the age on long, because with, um, with Tiffany and with this Let's Play, I don't want to go too quick, I don't want it to be super fast and, like, super fast-paced and just kind of, like, bland and boring, I want it to be full of drama and I don't want it to be quick, I want it to be slow and meaningful, so I just turned the aging on long so that we had more time to do all this fun stuff. So, she's just going to order the K thanks bye, and we'll have all this situated. This girl's outfit is pretty crazy, but you do you, girlfriend. Alright, so she's just going to order, her mouth was just like awkwardly open. What? Sorry, I need to go. I have to go to work soon. Well, that was somewhat fun. Maybe next time we'll tear it up. Um, well, it would have been fun if you would have stayed for drunk Tiffany. <laughs> what an idiot. But I, I know he's in the military, so he does have work pretty early in the morning. So, I don't blame him. We'll just... We'll have a little bit of fun. You know, question mark. Oh, gosh. This girl is going to get crazy. There we go. Going wild for five hours. She's pretty much drunk now. So, why don't we come talk to this guy? He had some sort of attraction to us. Um, so he's just standing here by himself. Let's take advantage of him. Okay, not like that, but like, let's take advantage of him standing there by himself and being attracted to us. So, we'll have our loneliness be solved by this stranger. She wants to have four drinks at four different bars. I mean, we could try. Meet a vampire. She already knows a vampire, but I mean, we could do it again. I don't really care. Um, order bar food. She is kind of hungry, so we might do that. Um, she is starting to smell. <laughs> so, I mean, that's great. We're going to try and flirt with him. Let's compliment his personality. He's like, eh. I mean, you're cool, but yeah. <laughs> compliment his appearance. I mean, he's not disgusted. <laughs> that is so pathetic. We're just like, mm, yeah. Let's just dance wildly together. She can have a fun night with this stranger. Why not? I don't really know who is supposed to get to know us, but... Are you guys going to dance or what? Um, I do need to fix some of her outfits. I did realize that... Um, 
that the everyday outfit I gave her was actually uh, Carolyn's from my university Let's Play, so I'll fix that. Um, and then I have to fix all these outfits that uninstalled custom content came from. So yeah, she's just going to dance with this guy. She does not have work today, so that's good. She can go home pretty late and sleep in and all that fun stuff. So it looks like she's just having a bit of fun. Nothing wrong with that. This guy's kind of cute, Daniel Clover. Oh, actually, just kidding. That guy's a jerk. Like, when I filmed off camera, we um, met him. Where is it? Oh, yeah, we met him at the pool club thing, and it, they found out that he dislikes children, and they, like, hated each other all of a sudden. So, yeah. I really want to uh, reinstall the WooHooer mod in my game because um, it had, like, these interactions, like, ask about age and ask about, uh, or consider attractiveness, which made it really easy for people to be attracted to each other. Um, and right now, when it's not in my game, it's pretty hard for people to be attracted to my sim, which is really sad, but it's true. <laughs> then we'll try to be flirty again. You know, she's, she's going wild. She's a little bit juiced. Um, she doesn't really know, but that was your fault, sweetie. So, I guess he's our friend now. Um, compliment appearance. Let's see if he, like, flirts back. Oh, he's flirting back! Oh my goodness! That's hilarious. Okay, um, flirt. There's my Overwatch mod. <laughs> And then we're going to ask his sign. I'm sorry you're hungry, but you'll have to deal with it. <laughs> we'll ask his sign. We already know he's not single. We'll, we'll hug him. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm not worried. I'm not, like, trying to get really serious with this dude. He is married. But she is juiced and at a club. So what else would you do besides a heat-of-the-moment kiss? Am I right? <laughs> they do have a compatible sign. They are attracted to each other. And, yeah. So I think the club closes in about 15 minutes, which hopefully we can maybe get this kiss in real quick. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> I literally just got so scared. My game, like, froze. And I was scared it was going to crash, but it didn't. So, that's good. <laughs> um, she kissed him. Oh my god! Oh my god. We just made a mess. We made a mess. Mommy, come clean up my mess. <laughs> clean up on aisle three? Um, literally? Clean up on aisle three? Why does my game keep freezing? I'm so done with The Sims 3, guys. I'm so done with it. My game is just a butt cheek. And I hate it. Okay, it unfroze, so we learned that he was a party animal, which is great. We're going to go ahead and head on home, and yeah. Hell yeah, man! Yeah. It just sounds like what he said. Uh, finally made a moving kiss, even though there was some accidental nose bumping, she'll always remember the first time their lips met. Please. <laughs> Um, there's nothing, there's probably not going to be anything serious there, guys. He's married to Yvonne. I think we're friends with her. <gasps> Are we? No. I don't think so. Oh, t mm. we're acquaintances. So, I mean, that's great. <laughs> um, anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed, give it a big fat thumbs up. And also... If you guys like the new thumbnail that I made, go ahead and comment down below and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Because I worked really hard on it. Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> it's something different than I usually do, and I'm kind of proud of it, so. Yeah. Anyways, I will see you all in the next video. I love you guys so much. Bye. <laughs>